The start of the story is a surprising one. Looking at the soft green land today, it would be hard to guess that so much of its story is a matter of caves and cavemen. And it's even harder to conceive that our ancestors were poking around the Dordogne over 400,000 years ago. Paragore likes to call itself the world capital of prehistory. And one small corner of the department, the Vézère Valley, has contributed more to our knowledge of ancient man than anywhere else in the world. Consider the terminology the scholars use. The Mousterian culture, identified with Neanderthal man, takes its name from the finds at a Vézère village called Les Moustiers. A nearby hamlet called Cro-Magnon gave its name to the Neanderthal's nemesis, the early Homo sapiens, us. When Cro-Magnon man learned to paint, it was in the Magdalenian era, named for another Vézère village. Here, the result was humanity's first great works of art, preserved for thousands of years on the walls of Paragor's caves. Today, they are one of France's greatest tourist attractions, not at all the scribblings of primitives, but an expressive, accomplished painting that inspires artists today, while its meaning and its symbolism leave us tantalizing questions that may never be answered. Two-thirds of all the Paleolithic caves discovered to date are in southwest France. Many of the best are right here, including Lascaux, the most famous of all. Because of the effect of our breath on the delicate cave walls, Lascaux visitors have to be content with a skillfully painted replica. But the originals can still be seen, at least for a while, at other sites, such as Fontagome. No one can say for sure why this pretty valley should be so blessed with Paleolithic sites. It may be simply because of all the caves. Perfect regarding the secrets of the past and air-conditioned isolation, most of these were only rediscovered and explored in recent times. But if the painted caves were sealed away for millennia, other caves would continue to help define this land's history up almost to the present day. The soft limestone that underlies almost all of Peragor is shot through with caves and underground grottos and galleries, offering ready-made shelter. Many of the castles and towns here had their start as cave settlements, and some Peragordins were still living in cave settlements less than a century ago. Here, Loïc Le Mérigy, heritage and history consultant of Vox Historiae, tells about the cave settlement of La Roque Jacques. La Roque Gajac is one of the many troglodyte villages that are to be found in the Périgord, either in the Dordogne Valley or in the Vézère Valley, the, Va the Vézère being the second river of the department. By troglodyte village, one has to understand a village or a hamlet that uses the natural excavations in the cliffs as shelters or houses. Indeed, in La Roque Gajac, some of the openings in the face of the cliffs have been used as houses or shelters since the prehistoric times. The Magdalenian period has notably seen an important arrival of population here. What used to be rock shelters were transformed, especially during the Middle Ages, into masoned kind of houses built partly in the rock.